And let's talk a little more about this. Joining us now uh, for more is Brian Costa. He is a reporter for The Wall Street Journal, also our chief national correspondent and Boston native John King back with us. Uh, so, you know, I want to talk a little bit about what this means, obviously not just, Brian, for this game, but moving forward. We still have a couple months left in the season, especially if the Yankees make the postseason. Is this the new normal? Are we on boo watch all the time? Is this baseball now? Yeah, I think this has pretty much become business as usual. I mean, it seems like every day now there's more of the he said, he said back and forth here. And uh, it's really become a surreal drama that's consuming the Yankees season. Okay, so John, let me ask you this, because you obviously were glued to the TV last night, as I was, as baseball fans were. Um, you're watching this whole game go down. You see that shot right there. He gets beaned. Dempster, the, uh, the uh, pitcher after the game, says, no, I was, I was actually trying to go inside. Do you believe that, or was he trying to? He's a unique, highest perspective <laughs> for the Red Sox fan and former mediocre high school catcher. It was, it was unintentional. Of course it was unintentional. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> he can't Look, say that he did it on purpose no, he can't, or he's he, in trouble. He can't say that he did it on purpose. Ryan Dempster is an old-school baseball player. There's a lot of bad blood. I hate to say this as a Red Sox fan. Last night, A-Rod got the last word. Uh, he had he a home sure run. Did. He had a home run. The Yankees won the game. But think about what's going on as a baseball fan. Anyone watching, I'm a Red Sox fan. I have a bias. I don't like A-Rod. I think he's a crybaby. Okay, I'll say that straight up. But think of what's happening here. His manager, Joe Girardi, is one of the great class acts in baseball. I hate the Yankees, but he's a class act. Mario Ano Rivera is a Hall of Famer. He's the best closer ever. He's in his farewell season. And this is distracting the Yankees, who are actually trying to make a run right now in the American League East. The Red Sox are up a game. There are great pennant races. The Pittsburgh Pirates might make the playoffs for the first time in forever. Baseball should be a great story this fall. Instead, it's about it's this. this. Instead, it's this. Uh, now, Brian, you wrote this for the Wall Street Journal today. You said, on the field, A-Rod has proved to be an asset at a position where the Yankees desperately need help. Off the field, though, his coexistence with the Yankees resembles that of a match and a tank of gasoline. He's not very well liked even on his own team. Uh, and I'm wondering, when you look at what happened last night, what do you think the cause of that is? Is it just because of the sort of anti-A-Rod sentiment we've seen all along, a crybaby, as John called him, obviously uh, very well paid? Or is it also that you see these players really disliking what he's doing to baseball at this point? Is it a little bit of self-policing, maybe? Well, I think you have a player who wasn't the most well-liked guy by his own peers to begin with, uh, and now that they're seeing this happen. Most players, I think, believe that Alex Rodriguez did to commit the violations that NLB is accusing him of and are unhappy that he's playing out the rest of the season as the appeals process plays out. Um, but I think the dynamic with his, within his own team is interesting because, you know, between him and the Yankees front office, it's very contentious, very tense right now. Uh, he and Yankees general manager Brian Cashman are barely on speaking terms. Um, on the other hand, within his own clubhouse, it sort of varies. I mean, you have some players that he has sort of a history with, that he's friendlier with. Uh, there are other, some other players who you know, really, you know, have made it known that they're not huge fans of his. Uh, so I think the players on the, the rest of the team are really almost like spectators in this drama like the rest of we are. Do you think that someone, uh, to you first, Brian, and then I want to ask you, John, do you think someone, you think that uh, MLB needs to step in and kind of put an end to this, or can anything be done? Well, uh, MLB is reviewing the incident that happened last night with Dempster and Alex Rodriguez. Uh, we'll see what, if any, discipline they offer. Uh, it's the first time uh, this has happened as far as him getting bean like this. So I think we'll have to see how it plays out. I don't anticipate that happening on a nightly basis, but you know, could it happen again? Sure. What do you think, John? I think he's going to be booed everywhere he goes. I mm -hmm. think, again, as you have these great pennant races, he will be seen by baseball fans, uh, whether they're deeply involved or not, as distracting from a great season. I talked to a couple people deeply involved in the investigation today, and they insist, Brianna, they say the evidence against is overwhelming. They say there is no doubt. But, but, this is part because of the process. In America, we're innocent until proven guilty, and there is a process through which A-Rod gets to appeal. Mm -hmm. And I hate to defend him, but the MLB has a process, and that is what he is doing. Now, should his attorneys be saying this about his employer? Uh, should the, could the MLB maybe try to get a gag order? That might help everybody. But he does have the right to appeal, and as he does, we got this mess. And a lot of people felt that if MLB had used their other authority to kind of get him out of the game at this point in time it would have been overreaching so i guess for now this is that's the, a lot of the bad blood they've yeah. shown him the evidence and he still wants to appeal he as opposed to take to the appeal. suspension and that's about money it's a lot of money riding on this <laughs> as you mentioned john king thank you so much and thank you to brian costa as well